The microscopic world is full of beautiful and terrifying sights which are invisible to our naked eyes. Fortunately for us, scanning electron microscopes are able to produce images of objects that have been magnified millions of times, revealing details and complexity inaccessible with light microscopy. Here are some mind-blowing images of the microscopic world under an electron microscope. Hamuli on the wing of a honey bee. Hamuli are tiny hooks or hook-shaped projections on the fore and hind wings of a bee or a similar insect. Bees have two wings on each side of their body, which are held together with these. They allow the two wings to act as one large surface and help the bee create greater lift when flying. Blue cheese. The blue color and flavor of the cheese is due to the penicillin fungus. It is made from cow's milk using mold penicillin to produce the blue-green marbling. Cheese is a very good source of calcium but contains high levels of fat. Like a mass of pink spaghetti held in a net, this electron microscope image gives an extreme close-up of the structure of a band-aid. Zooming in on an insect wing with an electron microscope. A cross section of skin showing the epidermis, dermis, perichondrium, elastic cartilage, a myelinated nerve fiber, and a muscular artery. The skin accounts for about 15% of the human body weight. Although various pathogens affect the skin, it also prevents the entry of many to the body's interior. A blue morpho butterfly egg. The red band on the egg signals a chemical reaction that follows fertilization. Inside the egg is the germ of a blue morpho, one of the world's largest butterflies with a wingspan of 5 to 8 inches. Larva of a jewel wasp. The emerald cockroach wasp or jewel wasp is a parasitic wasp found in the tropical areas of India, Africa and the Pacific. A periwinkle flower. Seen here is a grain of pollen on the stigma of a periwinkle flower. The pollen grain which contains male genetic material has become trapped by the stigma's papillae, which are the hair-like structures in pink. The stigma is part of the female reproductive structure, which is formed from one or more carpels. Each carpel consists of a stigma, a style, and an ovary. Snake Fangs A fang is a long pointed tooth. In mammals, a fang is canine tooth, used for biting and tearing flesh. In snakes, fangs are used to inject venom. Snake venom is highly modified saliva containing zootoxins. These are the spores of a button mushroom. Seen here are the ridges of a penny. Broken corn grains or maize. Seen here are cell walls along with the starch granules inside the cell. Originally from Mexico, corn is mainly used as fodder, but is also a staple food of humans. Corn starch is also used for the production of compostable bioplastics. The tongue of a wasp. Unlike the proboscis in bees, the wasp has a short tongue that is used for licking nut sucking. Also seen here are feelers attached on each side. Other structures partially seen here are mandibles in grey across the top and maxillary palps left and right in yellow. Covered in what looks like tiny sea anchors, 
This microscopic image is actually a close-up of the skin of a sea cucumber. Rabies virus The rabies virus is a family of the rhabdovirus family. The virus is usually transmitted to humans through the bite of an infected dog or other animals. Symptoms appear after an incubation period ranging from 10 days to 1 year and include fever, muscle spasms, and hydrophobia. Death occurs within 4 to 5 days. A blue bottle fly maggot. These maggots are used medicinally to clean wounds. They are sterilized and placed in the wound where they feed on dead tissue and leave healthy tissue untouched. Their saliva contains antibacterial chemicals which maintain sterility in the area. Maggots are also used on ulcers and deep wounds away from organs or body cavities. They are most often used to treat diabetic ulcers on the feet. Bacteria from the surface of a human tongue Large numbers of bacteria can form a visible layer on the surface of the tongue. The mouth contains a large number of bacteria, most of which are harmless or even beneficial. However, some bacteria can cause throat infections or cause the formation of plaque deposits on the teeth, which may lead to decay. This image shows morning frost on a blade of grass. This is what a mosquito's antenna looks like up close. A puncture hole in the skin that was made by a needle. A pollen from coriander, also known as cilantro or Chinese parsley. All parts of the plant are edible and are used in wide range of foods. The leaves of hydrangea are well known to gardeners. This microscopic image reveals the star-like siliceous spines covering the leaf surface. Seen here is the inner surfaces of the iris and adjoining structures in the human eye. At far left in blue is the edge of the pupil, the hole that allows light into the eye. Colored in mauve is the iris which controls the size of the pupil and therefore how much light will enter. The band of folds down the center in red are the ciliary processes. These secrete fluids that nourish neighboring parts of the eye. They are also the sites of attachment for the long thin zonal filaments in yellow and green, which are responsible for suspending the lens. These are paper staples. A common yarrow flower showing the stigma between the flower's petals with adhered pollen grains. This plant is native to temperate regions of the Northern Hemisphere in Asia, Europe, and North America. Astroglial cells are one of the major cell types in the brain. They have many functions such as regulating the electrical transmissions through the neurons. When cultured on a surface, they will often adopt a fried egg morphology. Cherry vinegar fly is a species of fly closely related to the common fruit fly. Originally based in Southeast Asia, it has now been spread by the international fruit trade to the whole northern hemisphere. It mainly affects berries and stone fruits. The female has a long sharp-toothed oviposition apparatus. With this, she scrapes the fruit, puts eggs in it and damages immature fruits. Here you can see the opened proboscis. A pine leaf surface showing wax crystals and stomata pores in brown. A stomata is a pore that regulates the exchange of gases and water vapor into and out of a plant. These are Demodex folliculorum, microscopic mites that live on human skin. 
They are adapted to live inside hair follicles and most people have them. They are typically found in the hair follicles on the face, generally in greater numbers around the cheeks, nose, foreheads, eyelids and ears. However, they may also be found on other parts of the body. These are gold nanoparticles sintering. These are both human beard hairs. The one on the left was cut using an electric saver while the one on the right was cut by a razor. The threads of a nylon stocking. An egg of a water bear or a tardigrade. Tardigrades are tiny invertebrates that live in aquatic and semi-aquatic habitats such as lichen and damp moss. This particular species, Paramacrobiotus kinianus, is a carnivorous species that feeds on nematodes and rodifers. Water bears are found throughout the world, including regions of extreme temperature such as hot springs and extreme pressure such as deep underwater. The end of a cinnamon stick this spice comes from the dried inner bark of the cinnamon tree. It is used as a culinary spice and as a herbal medicine to treat a range of ailments. T-cell under attack by HIV. The virus particles of HIV infecting a human T-cell seen here in blue color. HIV is the virus that causes AIDS. The virus specifically targets T-cells, which play a critical role in the body's immune response. The HIV infection process kills the white blood cells, causing severe damage to the immune response and leaving patients vulnerable to normally harmless diseases. The mandibles of an ant. These are the hooked seeds or burrs of the burdock plant, which are known for easily catching onto furs and clothing. They are also the inspiration behind the invention of Velcro, invented by Swedish engineer George D. Mestral. A hedgehog fetus. The fetus has developed its limbs and organs, although its eyes are still sealed and the spines have not yet formed. The umbilical cord is seen protruding from its abdomen at the center. In this image, the beginnings of whiskers are seen around the snout. Cells in the epidermis of an onion. The epidermis of an onion showing the bands of large rectangular cells. The spot in the center of each cell is its nucleus. Leg of a cockroach. A close up of a cable tie. The surface of the human colon, where objective cells predominate with characteristic microvilli to increase the surface area and remove water and any remaining nutrients from the already digested food. A peacock tea plant mite that lives on tea plants. Originally from Japan, they are now found throughout the world and use their whip-like tails for defense and dispersal. They feed on the stems and fruits of tea plants and may affect how the tea tastes. This is the seed pod with seeds of a tail crease. The model organisms used for studying plant biology due to its short life cycle and the first plant to have its entire genome sequenced. This is the retracting foot of a deloid rotifer. Rotifers are microscopic aquatic animals that are related to roundworms. Deloids are a class of rotifer found in fresh water and moist soil. 
They are interesting because males are not present within the species, and females reproduce exclusively by parthenogenesis. Each individual has paired gonads. Despite the fact that they have been asexual for millions of years, they have diversified into more than 300 species and are fairly similar to other sexually reproducing rotifer species. A T4 bacteriophage, a virus that only infects bacteria, in this case an E. coli. Bacteriophages lack any reproductive machinery and rely on the apparatus of bacteria in order to replicate. They do so by attaching to the cell wall of the bacterium using the spidery tail fibers visible here. The tail is a contractile sheath which contracts injecting the contents of the head, the genetic material or DNA into the cell. The genetic apparatus of the host is commandeered and within 20 minutes progeny fill the cell. This is red grape. 